Have you ever been on a road trip and looked out the window and seen acres and acres of grass, wondering what use it has? Although humans have no direct use of grass, there is an animal that productively turns it into something we can use, a cow. The cow's stomach is very unique in that it has one stomach with four compartments. The first two compartments are the rumen and reticulum, which have a unique processing system in which they ferment the feed. Fermentation is possible because of the abundance of microbes that break the carbohydrates into fatty acids and gases. The rumen hosts billions of bacteria and protozoa. It is estimated that in one teaspoon of rumen content, there can be up to 200 billion microorganisms. As feed accumulates in the rumen, the new layers are regurgitated back up into the mouth to be chewed as cud. By chewing the feed, the cow increases the surface area that can be broken down by microbes. To feed the cow, the microorganisms must be fed. The feed stays in the rumen in reticulum for 48 to 60 hours as the cycle continues. This process marks a truly remarkable ability of the cow. It takes something useless and inedible to humans and turns it into an excellent source of nutrients such as protein. The cellulose that is present in plant tissue is very difficult for our bodies to process, but the intense fermentation process of the rumen allows for cellulose to be broken down into vitamins B and K. Additionally, this process is significant in agriculture's influence on climate change. The fermentation process creates up to 400 gallons of gas a day, 30% of which is methane and carbon dioxide. Farm animals account for 14.5% of total greenhouse gas emissions, with over half of that coming from cattle alone. There is a fascinating connection between the micro microorganisms of a cow's rumen and the cow itself. According to a study performed last year at Scotland's Royal College, the microbial makeup of a cow is determined by its genomic makeup. For years, it was thought that the dye of an animal is what influenced the cattle's emission. Although the dye still affects the gas released, the genetic differences between cattle have a larger effect. It may be possible to raise less gassy cattle and lower their impact on the environment. In short, the unique four-part stomach of a cow and the use of billions of bacteria and protozoa allow for the breakdown of cellulose into important nutrients that humans can use. Although useful, this process releases greenhouse gas emissions. Since we know there is a connection between cattle's genetics and the microbes in the stomach of a cow, we could someday breed for less gassy cattle as well as more feed efficient cattle. Ultimately, that field of grass fuels cattle and influences our diet and environment more than what meets the eye. Instead of avoiding the issue, let's meet it with a progressive solution to reduce climate change while still supporting the growth of juicy steaks.